Well, we had a staff that's made up of a number of people, included in there were some academicians, and uh, uh, it was not SMU, in fact, it was University of Chicago. <coughs> and uh, some of those recommendations were that uh, we should not encourage minority entrepreneurs to get involved in, uh, in work or businesses that, was, that were dirty, that were disagreeable, that uh, required long hours, that required uh, weekend work. Uh, they should get into electronics, into uh, computers, and, t and, and, and uh, rapid growing elements of our society. Uh, aerospace, they said at the time, they'd say something different today, I'm sure. It showed a complete lack of understanding of what makes an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is a man who knows how to save his money by tremendously hard work, find a way of serving someone in the public, so that those members of the public will pay him more for the service than it costs him, and he shows a small profit. This is how you develop an entrepreneur, not by giving him a lot of bank credit, putting him in a great big building and tell him to run a business. You know, Lord Keynes, changing the subject, Lord Keynes, the economist, said, and I was just reading, that he generally doubts the power of vested interests in the face of gradually encroaching ideas. It seems to me that what you're doing in your travels around the country on the behalf of the National Association of Manufacturers is dealing with the gradual encroachment of certain ideas about the environment and consumerism and minority enterprise and, and other things. Uh, would you agree with this? Well, what kind of accommodation is American manufacturing trying to make to the 70s? Well, no manufacturer is going to survive in our society unless he adjusts himself to changing times. That changing times is consumerism. Changing times is a recognition that you have to do something about pollution control. Uh, change in attitude toward employees. Change in attitude toward government. Uh, the world moves, and the manufacturer doesn't move with it. It's not going to be a manufacturer. The company that grows and, and, and prospers is the one who learns to live in today's society, not the society of 10 years ago. 